Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my HTC Desire questions and answers video part 2. Now in the first video I invited you to submit some more questions and since posting that video I've had plenty so let's hopefully cover most of them in this video now. Now first up I had a question from Mishra58 and Mishra was asking if there was any difference between the uh, two calendars on the HTC Desire and a standard Android, Android based mobile phone. Well here we've got an HTC Magic, you can see the plain looking calendar and as you can see on the HTC Desire they have uh, developed their own calendar app. Now next up I had a question from Josh Hudsey uh, he's saying he's a big fan of the videos, thank you very much and asking if I can do more in-depth coverage of the Android market. Well rather than do that in this very short video I will do a uh, Android market video next week sometime and go into great depth as to what is exactly available on Android market and how you download and install an application. Next up was a question from Get Blitzed. He asked, does the phone have Flash 10.1? Well, yes, the HTC Desire does have Flash, but I have still found some websites, uh, such as the Moto GP website, uh, the flash videos on that particular site still aren't supported. Next up was a question from Faddies1234 asking if the HTC Desire has car home on it and turn by turn voice navigation. Well here's the maps application running on the handset now if I click on menu and then on directions you can actually select a start and end point and then have it navigate for car, commute or on foot, so walking directions. As such, I haven't tested the uh, voice turn by turn navigation. As far as I can see, it does not support it, but I may be wrong on that. So I will test that and bring you a proper answer either via a comment or in a future video. But it certainly does offer up uh, route planning and uh, sort of navigation features. Shawno333 asked about the scrolling all the way down through the programs it seems to lag in the other videos he's seen well I'm assuming you mean if you get up the program list like this and then scroll from top to bottom it certainly does slow down towards the end but I think that's the software actually just sh slowing down the scrolling um, I don't think it's lagging in any way and as you can see it's quite smooth scrolling up and down through those applications so in my opinion no lag while scrolling through the applications menu. QEO asked if I could give a thorough guide on the media playback on the phone such as playing a video in the music app. So let's do that for you now. Let's launch the music app. Here we've got some of the pre-installed music so I can play that. I can drag the slider across. I can pause. I can also hit this icon here and it goes into now playing view and I can tap that again, goes back to cover art view. I can also tap this icon here, and this gives me a text driven menu. And through this I can scroll all the way through, looking at my various artists. Now all of these were preloaded except the Black Eyed Peas, and that was one that I actually pulled across from my iTunes library. I'll show you that in a short while. Just these other icons along the bottom. We've got Albums view. Please note that the end, that Black Eyed Peas album, which does have cover art with it, is not displaying the cover art. Haven't worked that out yet. Then we've got playlists, we've got all songs, we've got genres, we've got composers, and then purchased music. Let's go all the way back across to Black Eyed Peas. Now this was one that, as I say, I dragged across from my iTunes library. Clicking on the track sets it going. Again, no cover art displayed. I can skip between tracks. I can drag that slider across. So nice and easy to use, uh, just needs a little bit of work I think on getting the cover art displayed properly. So let's pause that and we go back out to the home screen. Worth also mentioning there is a music widget here so you can play music direct from in the widget. And while that's playing I can go and do other things, I can launch another app, I can also browse the internet, so nice that you can play music while you're doing other things. Now videos, 
Well, there's not actually a dedicated media player on the HTC Desire. Your videos are accessed through the Photos application. When you first launch it, uh, you're given a choice between viewing your photos here, camera shots, all photos, or your videos. Um, if I tap on either of these, they both contain the same uh, actual content. We're in portrait mode at the moment. If I switch around to landscape mode, and then we can scroll through these videos. Now, one of the bad things that I didn't like uh, with this is that it doesn't display any title. I gave these titles, so it should show me exactly what they are, but it's not telling me. And there are 480p versions and 720p versions, but I can't tell you which ones are which. So anyway, let's tap on one and start it playing. So here we're given a back option, an expand view option, which zooms the picture out. Or we can go back to the original format. I can scroll with this bar here to different portions of the video that's playing. I can pause and continue play. Nice quality picture, good colours. This is the 480p version. Let's pause that and go back one. And play you the 720p version. And it copes with this easily as well. No stuttering. Uh, no jerking through the playback, very, very uh, clear picture again. So between the two, for the size of the screen, I'd probably go for the 480p version, save you some space on your memory card. So let's go back again. And while we're in this screen, we've just got some options here to access the video camera. We've also got trash can. We've also got a share button. If I tap on that, we're given the option to share via Bluetooth, uh, my Google Mail account, Mail account, messages or on YouTube so you could upload that to YouTube and if I tap this end one then I'm back to list view so that's the media playback I think it's more than adequate and it does a nice job of playing back your movies so the last one I'm going to cover in this questions and answer video part two is MX Muse 08's question he's asking that he notes you can access all the programs from any of the seven home screens can you do the same whilst using an application without having to go to the home screen itself a la Windows Mobile and the Windows Start button? Very good question. So let's perhaps go to my Twitter application. This is my Twitter. And he's basically asking, can I now access the rest of the applications on the handset and sort of multitask and have two running at the same time? Well menu button won't do anything that just brings up the options for this particular app back will take me back to the main home screen search will search my twitter and obviously home will go back to that home screen so the only way of actually accessing all the programs is to hit the home screen and then hit the little up arrow to reveal all of the program content on the handset so no you cannot access this whilst you're in other programs so I hope that helps. If you've got any more questions or comments, please post them on this video. And if I get enough questions, I will make a further video answering most of your questions. Thanks very much for watching. Please check back on the Geek and Noise channel for more tech-related videos. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.